an ordinary graveyard, a typical headstone. But Arthur Egerton Knight was anything but typical or ordinary. A.E. Knight, as he was known throughout his career, played football and cricket at the very highest level. This is Fort Widley overlooking Portsmouth, where Chris Pennycook and Gareth Lewis from the Pompey Pals charity are telling his story in their museum. Nobody knows about him, and it's so many lives into a relatively short period of time. Um, international footballer, county class cricketer, First World War, Second World War. It just ticks every box. From 1909, Arthur Knight played around 130 games for Portsmouth, the majority as captain. In 1912, he was part of the team that won the gold medal at the 1912 Olympics. Um, they beat Denmark 4-1 in the final. In 1913, he was awarded his Hampshire County cricket cap. So if you go to the Aegeus Bowl, um, look on their honours board, A.E. Knight, um, 1913. Opening batsman. With the coming of the war, he joined up, spent time in India, commissioned as an officer and was sent to the Western Front. But even that didn't stop his sporting success. He actually represented the army um, at rugby. So, <laughs> so we got a, well, we got an international footballer, county class cricketer and he must have been pretty good at rugby as well. Post-war, the football continued at Fratton Park before a move to Corinthians and another trip to the Olympics in 1920. And he wasn't done with the military either. During uh, the 1930s, um, he reached the rank of major in the Territorial Army. Um, then, of course, we got the Second World War on the horizon. Um, there was a lack of people with officer experience, so he actually moved across to the RAF, became a squadron leader, and actually commanded a barrage balloon section at Fort Goma over in Gosport. A fascinating life that now won't be forgotten. We need to keep the stories alive. We need to keep the memories alive. So in, in the museum that we have um, here today and the research centre that we've got, we've got a number of artefacts, but behind each artefact, there's a story. There's a story of the individual. And A.E. Knight is just one story, albeit remarkable, of the hundreds of thousands who've served. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.